Hello Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So this is another intuitive reading about the other person for the second half of September. So this will give you insights and some information um, about someone you're not in talking terms with or it could be an ex-partner. But if you guys are not interested to hear messages like this, then feel free to skip watching this video, okay my dear? Uh, but please bear in mind that this is still a general reading. Some of this may not resonate. So hopefully you could check your moon signs and Venus signs for more important information. Cross watchers, remember that the energies could be vice versa in this reading. Okay, my dear? Thank you so much for all your support. With that said, let's get into this reading. Spirit, any messages please for the other person that Taurus is dealing with at this time? Whoa. Okay, so... I got a feeling that someone is um, out of control right there here, Taurus. You could be dealing with someone whose emotions are all over the place right now. Okay, but let's see what that is all about. Spirit, any messages please about this other person that Taurus is dealing with at this time? Is there something we need to be aware of, please, Spirit, about this other person that Taurus is dealing with at this time? Alright, so let's cut the deck and see what we have for you, Taurus. Okay, so Ace of Cups. This is the heart of the matter, right? It could be coming towards you with reconciliation or an offer of a new emotional experience, okay? Ace of Cups can also mean that this person could be single, focusing in on their own personal um, situation. A lot of self-love right now can also be your energy Taurus you could be focused on self-love all right uh, but but this could also mean you know you could be dealing with a person who's very intuitive their psychic abilities could be increasing right now um, or you could be reaching out together in a spiritual sense for each other um, yeah wheel of fortune I was saying spiritual and this is it wheel of fortune this is the kind of love that's not only connected physically but more on the realms of um, spiritual okay um, this is also divinely protected and guided kind of connection so I feel like will of fortune as the blockage right now um, there's uncertainty someone feels you know doubtful whether to reach out but they they do want to okay Taurus they want to reach out and they want to apologize um, they want to explain things to you as well of why things started to become uncertain on their end. Uh, they also want to let you know about how, you know, they're, they're confused right now. And they're hoping to kind of like have some answers with you, okay? But Wheel of Fortune can also mean history can repeat itself. So don't be surprised, Taurus, if this person, okay, for some of you, if this person intends to go back in the past and relive the past with you. All right, um, but whenever this card shows up, it means that someone needs to break some habits, and intuitively, uh, one of those habits could mean drinking. Okay, someone could be drinking their problems away. Um, this could this could be something that you struggled with your partner as well, right? Wheel of Fortune. They might be spending their fortune on drinking, um, and so that could be one of the reasons as to why. You know their treatment towards you could have changed here okay so the root or cause is the two of cups right two of cups could mean a soulmate connection like I said this is binded spiritually and emotionally um, I feel like you could be dealing with a person who's definitely emotional here Taurus um, a water sign maybe cancer Scorpio or Pisces um, I feel like you know they blame universe or they blame their situation for not being able to take charge of their emotions i feel like someone is drowning with their, with their emotions right here and as i'm reading these cards for you taurus i'm actually closing my eyes i'm seeing this person drowning with their emotions okay they feel like they can't grasp uh you know they can't grasp their situation they can't they don't know how to take charge to take control of how they feel in order to move forward with you here they also see the situation the ending as unfortunate um, like I said they blame universe or 
the situation for the ending between the two of you. Yeah, in the past is the moon card. Could be a Pisces that you dealt with, water sign, like I said, highly intuitive person. Um, but oftentimes maybe they don't listen to their intuition, but they can get a little bit sensitive emotionally. And, and so um, that could be one of the struggles, like I said, uh, of this relationship. But don't get me wrong here, Taurus. This person definitely loves you. There's a very deep kind of emotion uh, towards you. But in the past, there could have been a confusing situation here. Um, I feel as though they, they listen more to their fear. It's a fear-based kind of um, de decision. Um, also, there were things being kept hidden that eventually got exposed. I feel also like Taurus, this person has been hiding their true emotions. Maybe on the outside, this person seems as, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. They probably move forward. But like I said, they're emotionally breaking down on the inside, okay? But they're about to be free from that cycle sooner or later. This is a karmic cycle or karmic loop that they eventually need to break free from. Um, for some of you, it could be a person who's in and out of your life, okay? When I say in and out of your life, you could have you could have given this person one too many chances, Taurus. But as you, see, as you see at bottom of the deck, three of swords, it's um, a situation where you both have tangled yourself. Um, all the parties involved got really hurt, cut deep. But, you know, it's a very passionate relationship. It's a burning relationship with passion, with love. But there was pain included here. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? Whoa. And we have the lovers. They see you as their soulmate. Okay. What else could I say here, Taurus? Um, I also feel like right now they desire communication. They want to get back with you again. Lovers and two of cups. Um, but for some of you, it could be that you've chosen to break away from this person for now because there was some toxicity. Um, if it wasn't their drinking, there's something about um, you don't like the way they, they treated you in the past. There could have been a lot of things that were hidden out in the public, meaning closed doors. You both were just not agreeing on some things. Um, also, I feel like there were money issues involved as well with Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Or someone could have wasted your money if you you guys could be, you know, in a committed or marriage of some sort. Your husband, your wife could have done something with your money here. But they're hoping to be forgiven. See, Ace of Cups, they hope to be forgiven by you here, Taurus. Well, and in the future, what's coming in the near future is the Empress. Could be you or a Libra, right? These are almost all major energy showing up, so... I feel like you could have had one or many cycles with this person already, but it just keeps repeating itself here with Wheel of Fortune. It can also mean that you've given this person a lot of chance, Taurus, but they keep repeating the same habit. And this is something that you would want your, to see your partner change as well um, in order to you know, open yourself for reconciliation. The Empress can also mean rebirth, second chances, giving life to something that you may have thought was dead. Um, the Empress card can also mean growth and love and sensuality. So there's no doubt that there's strong physical and sexual chemistry between you and this person. Um, it, it has gotten so comfortable though um, that this person at some point may not have seen the worth, uh, your worth and your, your relationship's worth. Someone could have acted in a very selfish manner here as well if, if it, it, it involved money. Okay. Um, and... and trust has been broken here okay trust has been broken money could have been the issue of some falling out if it wasn't money then something about them breaking your trust here okay so the daughter of swords okay gemini libra or aquarius someone younger so i feel this energy of them still watching and stalking you my dear taurus um i feel like someone has a thing or two to say and they want to say you know straightforwardly and directly i feel like this person will not go around the bush once they have the opportunity to talk to you they've been thinking a lot about you as well and the, the good times that you both have shared okay but i think that in this case you know i think that what this person remembers is the good stuff but you taurus you you also remembered the hurtful um 
memories that transpired between the two of you. So I don't want to say that they're romanticizing you, but they still have their rose-colored glasses here, Taurus. Despite the separation or falling out or things got messy in the past, this person sees you in rose-colored glasses and the whole situation. But I feel like for some of you, you see this person as quite childish or maybe they're just too young to understand that it's just not easy to, to go back to how things were unless um, some bad habits or patterns are going to be, you know, finally resolved between the two of you. But you love this person and there's there's a strong physical, sexual um, connection between the two of you. I just feel as though like the timing is not right or there's something about their behavior that you guys don't necessarily approve. Okay, three of swords. Um, we also have here three of cups. Okay, so what do I see here? I feel as though other people got involved. Okay, could be um, their friends. Um, trying to like reveal secrets gossips okay that might have caused the relationship to entertain doubts and you know false information I feel like some false information has been passed down about you Taurus or you could have heard some false information about this person because the moon card is here people who don't have good intentions about your relationship or people that got envious about the relationship you both shared here but also I want to say that maybe for some of you, it was through friends that you finally realized, Taurus, that this person might not be healthy for you or that, you know, your partner, it could be something about the people they're with that's affecting how they think, okay? Instead of maybe trusting you here, instead of maybe listening to their intuition. Um, I also want to say that maybe they drink a lot with other people and that's something that you may not have liked you may have wanted this relationship to become better than what it is. But like I said, they may have repeatedly done this in the past. And so you would want this person to be more serious when it comes to their responsibilities and how they handle money, how they handle the relationship you both share. So hopes and fears is Ace of Pentacles. So like I said, something about resources, money, or home, or maybe if this is someone younger than you, then something about their schooling, their classes, something that you trusted them with, uh, with the Ace of Pentacles. They do hope for forgiveness. There's two Aces here, right? Um, it's clearly them wanting some new beginning with you, okay? But I feel like for some of you, you're not eagerly giving that opportunity out. Uh, because you feel like you're blocked emotionally to to trust this person. There's something about trust here. Um, but they're watching. They're observing. They, they could be getting information from friends as well about you, about your relationship right now. Okay? So outcome is the four of swords. There's a lot of daydreaming, a lot of thinking. Um... Or it could be, Taurus, that you feel like, you know, your emotions haven't completely changed for this person. But right now, you just don't see it happening, okay? It's like, it's not the right time for some of you. You could also need some space, just some time to think and process and introspect, okay? Four of Swords could be that energy where, um, you know, one party here has just had enough. Uh, and someone wants time alone to recuperate from an unhealthy relationship or unhealthy person all right and you're doing this because you feel like you want this person to be healthy as well okay let's see or you want a more healthy treatment from your partner let's clarify these cards my dear why is this ace of cups here please spirit for the other person six of swords all right, so the energy of trying to sweet things up. I feel like someone could be gesturing some sweet, um, yeah, trying to make some sweet gestures towards you, Taurus. Could be asking you out or might probably ask you out casually to talk, okay? Have that table conversation. Um, also see here with Six of Swords, they could be journeying towards where you are, short trip or short travel. Um, to ask for an apology of some sort and whoa just now the candle <laughs> died so I feel like um, for some of you it might be you're, you're gonna tell this person um, it's not a good time to talk I want to be alone I want to be left alone but this person is relentless or persistent because that's how badly they want to 
to be heard, okay? I feel that kind of energy. They want to leave the baggage behind, emotional baggage. Or maybe for some of you, you want to release this old love for someone else. That's what I'm getting. Okay, three of cups can also mean third party situation. Maybe this is your past coming around, but you may have already moved forward with someone else. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here, please, Spirit? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like their efforts right now is just not yielding. It's not coming in fruition here. Okay, it has been a long overdue situation with this person. Um, I think that for some of you, you know, you, you feel like it's been long overdue that you've waited for this person to change. And now um, it's like the energy of their chance already passing. Okay, like time's up, you know. You've just given this person s such a long time to see them change. But they're still not approaching you or you're still not seeing the change that you want to see here. Justice card. Whoa. This just got a little bit heavy. For some of you, it could be finally severing ties or realizing that even though this is your soulmate, you're just too different, okay? There, there's just uh, the focus on the differences rather than the similarities, okay? Black and white. For some of you, maybe you've come to a point where you finally see this person for who he is or she is. You see things black and white now um, in a very logical standpoint, no longer just with your emotions. Uh, also, this person is trying to convince you not to break apart or maybe find a solution, okay? The justice card can also mean problem solving. So this person is trying to like solve the situation, the separation that happened between the two of you, okay? Why is the moon card here, please, spirit? mother of sorts could be a gemini libra or aquarius but i see you guys cutting this person out of your life and cutting the drama out you actually cut the drama out okay if there has been gossips or other people trying to interfere you cut that drama out i also want to say that there could have been some age gap between you and this person um, you could be the one older or younger uh, but not that it's it's important at all but i i, I want to say that you have gained some insight about this relationship that this person is not easily understanding right now. Um, to them, you know, they just really want to get back to how things were, but to you, it's not that simple. I feel like with Mother of Swords, she upholds the truth more than anything else. So if there's something that you found out, Taurus, that's not honest and truthful, I think that's the reason why, you know, you just cut this overall connection. You stop communicating with this person. We have mother of cups. So seeing two mothers here, there might have been actually someone else in the picture, okay, that got really messy, got really chaotic here. Okay, it could be a water sign, like I said, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And I feel as though they weren't honest with who that person is or was, okay? Um, they tried to cover it as much as they could, but you were like, you know you intuitively and logically knew about this the whole time you guys see pass through the deception that has happened and that's the reason why you know you're you're strongly holding your ground with the empress here you're not being shaken by this person's approach or whatever it is that they're doing in their life right now um you guys made it known that you you no longer want to be deceived and manipulated by this person yeah five of swords see you're standing tall despite the chaos the drama um just being the lookout though there might be some potential drama that this person might bring in again or maybe it's the kind of person where even though they love you and and they really want to be with you drama just keeps following this person uh, there's something about their thinking here and the way they perceive situation uh, maybe someone has a very happy-go-lucky personality um, um, you know the type where they do something and they expect to be forgiven right away they don't understand the depth of uh, the impact that they leave on others when they hurt people it's just the way they think is what I'm seeing here okay so why is this daughter of swords here please spirit yeah your person could be an air sign as well um, lacking sleep I see insomnia over here trying to put 
two and two together i feel like someone is overthinking the situation okay also haunted by the pains of this ending um i feel like there's energies of guilt as well because of the quarrel someone also whoa i think that because of this it might urge them to try to reach out and maybe come clean with what they've done in the hopes that coming clean you know saying the whole truth about maybe if it's addiction if it's someone else in the picture that they are going to be forgiven oh okay the tower in the environment i feel like you found out a very destructive and eye-opening truth about your partner about this person um i think that with the tower this is orchestrated by universe here and, and through common friends through people that you know have reached out to you or maybe friends could have been the one that destroyed the foundation of this relationship okay there's something about other people and group of circle the people that they hang out with all right um that could have been the shocking change that started this whole situation from coming down something that was fake as well something that was based on ego and pride had to come down okay if this is a third party situation it needed to come down so four of pentacles and and ace of pentacles see something about money as well that you don't trust this person um you don't want to take a chance or take a risk with this person again but i feel like this person has a very oh okay they are someone who i feel like when it comes to money um it's something that I don't know there's something about this person with money that you don't really like or you have found insight about this person's relationship with money either they waste a lot of money or they're too selfish about money um i don't know what that is or they could be struggling to share money as well or resources so take for example your husband and your wife you could have shouldered you know your relationship your responsibilities but this person was just not fair there was no proper give and take here okay just discard that could also mean you know there's no give and take the scales were not balanced in this relationship they could be spending more out with friends or stuff that they do like drinking um that you know is childish or unfair because why would they waste all their money in that kind of a uh, situation instead of maybe in their home with you or the relationship whoa okay so why is the four of swords here please spirit we have the devil right so capricorn energy um yeah i feel like you realize that you there are addictions temptation that this person just couldn't get rid of um also it's something that you know you must detach yourself from taurus because this other person even though they want forgiveness if they can't change uh, you know it's just but but smart for you guys not to give in not to trust not to just easily let this person back into your life okay the devil can also mean materialistic love so like i said something about money this person may be more you know they love money okay that they may have made you feel neglected at some point you know or you know i i don't mind this person being workaholic and all that if they choose to share that with you but from what i'm seeing with the cards you could have fought a lot because of money or money was some issue i know i keep saying it but because it's strongly um uh, being being shown to me here from spirit um, that could have rubbed you guys off from that feeling of love and and just being open to one another someone could have also hidden their stuff with money from you maybe debts maybe gambling issues okay it could be a lot of, the, the list could go on and on with this devil card okay so it was a little bit toxic also i feel like your per, your perception about this person is per pessimistic because you already know that they bring some drama potential drama and so i think that with the empress you're flourishing and you're growing abundantly right now um you could be also tapping into your inner divine power and energy and and all the more reason for this person you know to want to break that kind of barrier your walls down but i feel like it could potentially bring in more drama all right so i think that taurus you guys are aware of that uh, but maybe for some of you this could be valuable take for example if they're gonna like talk to you again with the ace of cups and be you know very romantic and sweet and all um, just just know that you know you should pay attention to the red flags or know their real intentions first 
there's something about them that maybe they just want to reach out to you for other hidden agenda all right so you have to be more assertive when that comes okay when the timing happens okay now let's get more messages from the enchanted map oracle cards for you taurus additional messages please spirit about the other person that taurus is dealing with at this time um i i, I take that as a sign so maybe for some of you your passion just died down for this person to be honest maybe uh, you already see this in a very per pessimistic point of view. You could be telling me why would you want me to listen to this kind of reading, but yeah, you know, I feel I feel like it's just about being mindful and aware that possibly this person will come to you and express their feelings once again. Okay, and you might fall for it, but hopefully, you guys won't. I know you guys, Taurus, you're very smart, uh, but sometimes you have a very generous heart, so don't let people take advantage of that. Okay, my dear. So we have follow the leader, making a choice, and talisman. So see what I mean? I feel like you guys already know what you're going to do. You're going to turn your back from this person. Um, also, like you're so wise and you have gained experience due to the repeated pattern from this person. I feel like for some of you, you could have stayed in this fork in a row, but now you've made a decision once and for all to go on a new path. Maybe for some of you, you made a decision for new love, okay? Uh, but follow the leader here like this person could still be following you around and tailing you around uh but i'm reading this intuitively could be following you like stalking you or like they see you as someone they still want to be with that's why they can't help but be next to you or be near you so with follow the leader i do also get this energy of being controlling someone who i think is tailing you because they need something from you okay but they're not making a decision to stand on their own two feet or maybe take control take take charge of their emotions of their situation if it's financially or them dealing with addictions this is a time where someone needs to step up and prioritize their healing here that's what i'm seeing with the cards yeah um, I'm also getting here that maybe you're starting to impose some discipline into your life here, Taurus, which is a good thing. I think that you finally realize that you want to get yourself organized and you want to have some sense of direction after leaving, making a choice, leaving this person. And now your path is slowly becoming more clear. You're gaining wisdom as you go on a different kind of path for your own. You're seeking more what else is out there um, and, and there will be new people new um inspiring people to support you along the way all right so even though your lover is in the past and you might have shared a memorable relationship um it, it's still best that you honor your decision and stick to your decision okay so that is your reading my dear taurus i know it's not going to resonate for all thank you so much for watching until the end if you haven't watched the video how do they feel about you um, it's a different reading. I just posted that yesterday. Please go ahead and check that out as well. So if this resonated, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And once again, thank you for your time. Namaste.